My first biggest failure in life was that as a straight-A student, I failed to get into my dream unis abroad. And 17-year-old Kene thought her life was over. What she didn't realize was that her life was just beginning. Hello people, I'm Genesia Sinclair. I'm a language, culture, content creator with three engineering degrees. But let's go back to my bachelor uni days because these contain some of the best experiences I had as a young adult that served as a foundation to who I am today. First up, semester one as a mechatronics engineering student. Out of a batch of 40 years, guys, there were only two girls. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. It was my first taste of uni life and living apart from my family. And after the heartbreak of not studying abroad, I promised myself I will make the most of my time here. It is time to explore everything. So I joined BEM. I joined all the UKMs that could fit into my schedule. I was committee in a lot of events and I still wanted good grades. <laughs> Academics wise, I remember struggling with math for the first time in my life. I mean, Paeka's calculus class. <laughs> I kind of lacked sleep for the most part, but it was fun and I managed to keep my grades up. So. That was good. Semester 2. Probably the most unexpected thing happened. I auditioned during a campus hunt for Miss Indonesia 2017, a national beauty pageant, and somehow I got to the finals representing Sumatra Selatan and placed top 15. Wow. <laughs> the doors to the entertainment industry opened up for me here. Semester 3. So what's cool about SU is that we have to do two internships, one in semester 3 locally and one in semester 6 in Germany. So in semester 3, I had mine in Astra Auto Parts in the testing lab. We also had practical training in Admitsikarang where we learned how to use turning, milling, welding machines, and whatnot. Mechanic. Those times. Semester 4 and 5, I became BEM president. So I was literally kura-kura, kuliah rapat, kuliah rapat. But I learned so much about people and management, and I got so many interesting experiences as a student representative when dealing with other universities or organizations. On the other hand, academics also got to a climax with final projects like making our own machine design and applying for internships in Germany and visa applications. I mean, imagine the stress. Semester 6, probably the highlight of all SU students going to Germany together. So in the first month, we studied in Fachhochschule Südwestfalen to get our dual degree. And then for the next six months, we separated to our respective companies for the internship. Mine was being an automation engineer in HF Mixing Group, a machine builder company. We also traveled a lot around Europe during this time. And this was probably my most life-changing semester because I got to experience Germany firsthand and meet so many good people, which led me to returning to do my thesis in semester eight in the same company. But this was 2020 when the the pandemic hit and there was complete lockdown, flights were cancelled, costs were cut, but I got to experience another miracle. I got offered a full-time job, which I accepted, of course. So in December 2020, I watched a live stream of my own graduation at 3 a.m. German time. I graduated with summa cum laude and had the honor of giving a recorded speech as the student representative. After that, I took a part-time master's in Elektrotechnik while working full-time. So I actually achieved my dream of studying abroad. In November 2021, my videos about German language and culture got viral on social media. My account grew from there and I continue to make videos today. Fast forward to April 2023, I graduated with a master's in electrical engineering. So looking back, even if things didn't go as planned, at all, I was always so blessed with even better things. Things that I never expected or even imagined. Because in every detour, there are lessons learned, experiences gained, doors opened, and good people met. I held on to the words someone told me when I failed to study abroad after high school. He said, if you're a pearl, wherever you are, you're still a pearl. It's not your circumstances that define you, but what you decide to do with them. You define your own value and what you're capable of. So explore, try different experiences, make the most of your situation, and let's make things happen.